I'm here at the University of Texas, a university that has produced a lot of legends. Earl Campbell, Ricky Williams, Vince Young is one. We can't forget about Kevin Durant, but one legend you might not know about, folks, is the legend of the albino squirrel. At this university, apparently, legend has it, that if you're walking to class to take a test and you get eyes on an albino squirrel, you will ace the test. That is what the story is around these parts. So I'm here on campus. I am going to find an albino squirrel. We are going to bring luck to the football team, and the horns are going to be back, baby. Let's go. Knox. We're going to find one. We need the good luck. Is there a way we could call a squirrel? I don't think that's a squirrel call. I don't think that actually works. So here's the deal. We've, we've talked to a lot of people that have seen this thing. Ashley, tell me everything you know about this squirrel. You see the squirrel before like your exams, it's like good luck. If we're on the hunt for the albino squirrel, you, you've seen this thing before. Yeah, I've seen it before. There apparently, one person told us there's one, one person told us there's four. We have no idea how many there are. It's like a big family of four, I think? There are four of them. Yes, it's a family. I think there's two, actually. We know that they are here. We know that these things exist. Have you ever seen them before? Yes, I have, and um, it did not help me on my exam. <laughs> the problem here is that all the students we're talking to are giving us all sorts of directions on where to find this thing. If you were an albino squirrel, where do you think you would be on this campus? Um, I guess in trees. In a tree. Thank you, Michael. You've been a lot of help. I saw it right outside of Painter Hall, uh, just over there, kind of near the tower. We got a tip. There have been squirrels spotted over there. Uh, our tipster did not tell us whether they were albino or brown, um, but we, we, we apparently have eyes on squirrels over there, so we're going to go check them out. We got one. Come quick. Ah. We got eyes on a squirrel. It is not albino. It's just a normal squirrel. Yo, squirrel. Come on, we just want to talk. We just want to talk. Where are your friends? All right, it's time to bring in the big guns. I don't even know what this means. All right, instead of trying to find where the squirrels are at, we're gonna to try to get them to come to us. What is it the squirrels like more than anything else? Nuts. <sighs> These stupid squirrels aren't gonna see what's going on. Got him. Come on, you son of a Oh, I think I got one. We are not honing in on it like I would like to. Uh, we're going to try to mix in some different methods here and see if we can really build a perimeter around where this thing would be. So we're gonna figure this out. We're on the right track. All right, I found something. I'm gonna take a look. It says, uh, UT20, I think a human put this here. I don't think, I don't think that was a squirrel, Never mind. Where are the squirrels? It's time to lock in. I think that's what you gotta ask yourself if you're in our position. It's not about, are we getting good luck or bad luck? It's about just simply where are the squirrels? We only have so much daylight left. These squirrels are out here. I know they are. And the horns need us. Texas football needs us to find these things. They need good luck. Whew, the clock's ticking though. All right, mission was unsuccessful. We did not see 
an albino squirrel today. I apologize to all of you who came on this journey with us. Uh, I really I really thought this would be it, you know? I thought we'd find the albino squirrel together, Texas football would be back, and uh, everything would be, would be great moving forward. That did not happen today. But you know what? I think we learned a lot about ourselves. And one thing that I certainly learned was that running around in the Texas heat trying to find a white squirrel is not a great use of time as it turns out. Mistakes were made, folks. Whoops. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my God, we found it. Look. There it is, there it is. We got eyes on it. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my God, we found it. We found it. Look at it. We found you. We found you. <laughs> we wrapped the video. We were done. We said we, we give it up. We, we thought we had got out Fox by a squirrel today. And we're walking back to the car. We're about 100 yards away from the car, ready to call it a day. And I'll be damned. There it is, running up the tree. The albino squirrel itself. Folks, I'm not going to tell you what to believe in. But today, something stirred inside of me. And I do believe in the supernatural. I looked into the red, beady eyes of a white squirrel. And I'm walking away from this experience believing in miracles. You're free to do what you want. But we saw the albino squirrel today. And I am going to go forth into this world with good luck. God bless you. God bless Texas. God bless the albino squirrel. Hook him, baby. Yes! Yes! Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoy that clip, make sure you click subscribe somewhere down here. From game highlights to exclusive interviews and rankings, we've got everything you need as a college football fan right here, College Football on Fox.